podcast nation welcome back to another mother freaking video and today i'm doing something a little different y'all feel me i wrote on my instagram basically telling you guys like we'll ask you guys what videos do y'all want to see it could be anything cooking vlogs um reactions just anything and you know a lot of y'all said cooking vlogs a lot of y'all say y'all don't care just vlog anything and some of y'all wanted me to react because you know i haven't done reactions so that's something that you know some of my followers subscribers supporters wanted to see um so of course your girl went with the reactions and i also went on twitter and i asked what would you guys like me um to react to on my channel so a lot of y'all was giving me a lot of messy shit okay y'all was giving me a lot of messy shit and i don't really like being in other people's business y'all feel me um but this uh, specific video, um, y'all really wanted me to react to and give my opinion on it. Now, this video is like a week old, it says. Um, it's involving Brie Chief. Um, she's a YouTuber. Um, breaking up with her um, ex-boyfriend, um, Devon J. So, um, a lot of y'all probably already seen it, but if y'all didn't, we will be watching it and reacting to it together. Y'all can comment how y'all feel in the comment section below. So, we're going to get into this reaction video, all right? So, with that being said, y'all, give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and let's get into it. It's only 13 minutes. Thank God it's not long because I hate editing long-ass videos. <laughs> so, it's only 13 minutes, so we're going to get right into this video now. So, let's get it. Let's go. Hey guys, me Bruce, I'm back in better than ever, and this is my side of what happened and why I decided to leave. Um, this video was really hard to come up with. It's been a while since everything kind of took off. She's not pretty. As y'all might know. And I get credit when this is really She's very pretty, very pretty okay? Here and there. Let me. Um, so I basically wrote down exactly what I wanted to say and it took a little bit of time but now I'm ready to finally talk about it because I'm at peace and um, that's good yeah so first I want to start with um, thanking everybody who has been here from the start and supporting me and just had my back during all of this because it was a tough time I'm not gonna lie and although I had an abundant amount of hatred towards me and you know people not liking what I did or what I, my choice. I also had a lot of females that understood where I was coming from because they're actually going through the same thing. Wow. And it's not a joke, it's, it, it's a dream. <laughs> so um, let's just get right into it. Um, I'm sorry I have to read off of this because it's a lot. So in my opinion, I felt like I had no choice but to leave. And as much as I wanted to stay, the love was just clearly not there anymore. The relationship became extremely toxic. Um, I had to beg him for simple things like flowers or, you know, for his time to go on dates, just to leave the apartment, really, to go anywhere. I think he felt that he was with me so often at home and, like, you know, all day, not going anywhere. I think he felt like that was enough time. Mm -hmm. But to me, just because we live together, that doesn't mean that we have to stop going on dates. Right. Or that means you have to stop, you know, giving me flowers or just little things to show that you actually appreciate me, you know? Um, I was tired of seeing the man I wanted on camera. And what I mean by that is he would put on this show for the camera. Like he was just doing his all as a man to make me want to stay and to keep the relationship strong. And, you know, he would take me places on camera, we would go to eat, and he would vlog it like if, you know, yeah, we're on a date, it's so amazing. But then when the camera turns off, it's just like we're sitting there in silence, there's nothing to talk about anymore. Mm -hmm. Unless that camera's on, and that stuff would, like, make me sad, because, like, why can't you be like that when the camera is off, too, you know? <clears throat> the silence in the house was breaking my heart as well. Um, I would be afraid to talk because I didn't know if he was in a good mood or not. Um, I didn't know if he wanted to hear my voice or not. Sometimes me talking he, like would annoy him because he needed his his me time or he needed like quiet. He just 
just wanted his own space, I guess. Um, his face was always glued to his phone as well, all day, like literally all day. And he always told me he was working, like, oh, I'm working, I'm working, I'm making, I'm making money, I'm this and that. But, like, I just felt alone in a house with him. And we're home all day together, but he would just be like this all day. In that damn phone! And then, like... <laughs> in that damn see, phone! He like... Because he'll be going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would've took and this shit. the conversation, he'd be like, what? What'd you say? She good. He wasn't paying attention the whole time. Like, she a good one. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, he, he never was listening. I started expressing my feelings towards this, and he would say I'm annoying, or like, shut up, like, you don't care, like, why are you telling me this? Wow. And then we started going to sleep facing opposite sides, we wouldn't even face each other anymore. Um, he wow. would kiss me for days, days and days, like, this is making me want to cry, huh? Um, <clears throat> yeah, it would be days, and he wouldn't kiss me, and then I would have to be like, hey, you haven't kissed me, like, can I have one? And then he would just give me one, but like, dang, I have to remind you, like, days later, that I wanted a kiss. Like, okay. <clears throat> um, in the morning, there was no good morning, there was no, like, a hug or anything, and I'm not saying, like, I know when you live with each other, you kind of just wake up and do your own thing, but like, every morning was the same thing. He would just look for his phone, get on his phone. I would pretend to be asleep next to him because I'd rather pretend to be asleep than just sit there while he's on his phone and not talk. And it got to a point where <clears throat> the bed felt better when I was in it alone. So I would sit there and just be like, I can't wait for him to get out of the bed and go to his game room, or go to the living room, or just get out the That's room. so sad when it gets to That's that That's how point. bad it got. Literally. That's so sad. I never told him that, so. It's going to be news to him if he hears that. Um, but yeah, I felt better when I was in the bed by myself. Um, it also got so bad that I was actually happy when he would leave the house, too. I used to hate it because I didn't like being by myself. But it got to the point where I was just happy that he would go out. I didn't care where he was going. I didn't care who he, who he was with. Um, and old me would have been like, where are you going? You didn't even tell me you were leaving. Like, honestly, once I heard the door shut and he was leaving, I was just like at ease. Because I finally had, like, time to breathe. The tension was broken. I always felt like I was just walking on eggshells around him. Because at that point, I didn't know if anything that I would say would get him mad. Um, <clears throat> so I'd watch every word This I is say. sad, y'all. Yeah, this is so like sad. Said, Especially when you can relate to it. Like, when you can relate to everything arguing. she's saying. Because a lot of times he would take my words it's out of sad. context. And it would start an argument. And then it would just go back from there. Um, so I began to also be silent because of, I felt like me talking just caused problems and I was ruining the relationship by talking, so I got quiet. And then when I got quiet, it turned into me being a boring bitch and nobody wants a boring bitch that just sits there looking mad all day. But in reality, I was, <laughs> I didn't know what to do anymore. I didn't know whether to talk to fix it or be quiet to fix it. Um, I didn't know what to do to fix it, so everything I, everything I was doing felt wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, this is so sad, y'all. Like, oh my God, this is so sad. So I gave him space. And y'all wanted me to react to this? Like, on his trip. This is so sad. Like, oh my God. Like, I should never listen to y'all. Right? And trust me. I ain't know what's gonna be like this, man. Moving forward. This is sad. <laughs> Fast forward. After the constant name calling, the negative vibes, the lack of affection, um, the lack of respect, the social embarrassment, I finally just mentally checked out. I mentally checked out after the Miami trip. When I found out through social media that he was with the other girl. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> I tried to fight mentally checking out because I knew that meant we were officially done. Mm. Because once I stopped fighting for us, there was no one else to keep good. fighting for us, you know? Um, I was the glue in the relationship. And I was right too because I stopped fighting a week before everything exploded and ended. I had no energy to argue or to ask where he was going. Um, 
But while he was only on the phone. Yeah, when, when it gets to that point. It's anything. I felt detached. Like, when a female gets to that point, she is done. Like, she's done. Feeling like that. Hold on, let me just read that. Because I don't know if it's the So, um, after I mentally checked out when it was time to go to bed and go to sleep, like I would look at him asleep and feel nothing. I would just stare at his face and be like, what the hell? How did we get here? Like, damn, how did we get here? But um, I, I was done being yelled at, you mm -hmm. know, I was done being his puppet. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I was done carrying the weight of Divine and Bree's relationship on my back, pretty mm -hmm. much. Um, my private life was never private. My tears were filmed for content. Mm. Um, at my lowest, I had a camera in my face forcing me to act a certain way. And he never tried off camera. You know, everything was a show for him. He used my pain and turned it into a reality show for the world, literally. And I wanted the breakup to be private. I didn't post anything, I didn't degrade him. I didn't destroy his items. I didn't call the cops. I didn't bash him on social media. I just continued living and like I was moving forward. I didn't want anything to be public. I wanted everything to be quiet. So basically, I watched him um, fall out of love with me. Sorry, I keep looking down. It's just I wrote all my thoughts to make it easier because it's not I'll ramble. So yeah, I watched him fall out of love with me and I knew he didn't love me anymore. And of course, he cared about me, but um, he wasn't in love with me anymore. Uh, waking up, waking up every day and knowing that, like it tore me into pieces. Um, so I started finding like my style. I tried starting new things mm, yeah. to maybe spark the interest that he like used to have in me when, when we first met. Cause he was so in love with me, like, like he he worshipped the ground I walked on when we first met. You know, mm -hmm. and I wanted to. Um, I was trying to figure out how to get him to feel that way again. And it wasn't working. So, <clears throat> because it didn't work, I decided to do it for myself. And then I realized that I felt out of love with myself. And I began to realize that every little negative thing that he ever said about me made me look at me the same way. So I started to hate myself. And I fell into depression. There was one point where I just wanted to give up on everything. And yes, I mean everything. Like, I just didn't want to be here anymore because the pain was so bad. Mm -hmm. And, like, I pushed all my family away and made them think that I was so happy. Wow. So I just felt alone. Literally. I felt so alone. Um, and I have no privacy. And the person who I thought would protect me from the world exploited me to the world. He exploited my pain to the world. While I was at my lowest, filmed me. Packing my stuff, leaving. Wow. Um, and while he was doing all that, I was still trying to figure out how to save us. Like an idiot. And what was he doing? Moving on overnight. Replacing me overnight. Um, Woo! Truth is, he just didn't want to be with me anymore. And that's okay. So, um, in conclusion, I am happier than I've ever been since I've left. Talking about this is obviously emotional because it's fresh, it happened. Um, but I also cried so much during the relationship that I haven't really cried since we split up. Mm -hmm. Like I've been so happy That's and good. laughing and just, you know, surrounded by my family. Constantly distracted, really. Um, I, I feel like I made the right choice and I'm at peace with my decision. Yeah. Um, like I said, my family and friends have been by my side every step of the way, and it's made it ten times easier for me. And the report, the, res uh, the support that I've received from them and all of you, it just leaves me speechless because there's no way I can repay you guys for all that. So just know, uh, remember they say, um, the one who stays single for a while after the relationship is the one who loved the hardest. And I guess we all know who loved the hardest here. Um, so this is my story. And I hope we can help the next girl out there struggling. It won't be easy. No. But you can do it. And I promise, promise, promise that there is someone out there ready to give you the world. Yeah. Without you having to tell them to either. Mm. So thanks for watching.
And a new one begins, baby girl. Wow. And y'all wanted me to react to that. That was sad. Like, that was so sad. And I could relate. If y'all day ones, the very first time me and Tay broke up, the our first breakup back in 2019, I believe. I could some parts I could definitely relate to so that's why I was so touched by it because you know certain things that she was saying I could relate to back when me and Tay you know broken up but I am very happy that she's basically she she realized her worth you feel me even though it tore her to have to leave someone she wanted to be with at the end of the day she was just hurting herself you know, she was destroying herself as a woman. And when it gets to that point, just, it's not even worth it. Being with someone like that is not even worth it. So I'm very proud of her for um, moving on. Um, not in a moving on with like getting, getting you know, a um, new dude, a new dude or whatever, but just moving on with her life. Like, you know, just living for her now. I'm very proud of that. And um, yeah, like I'm pretty sure there's a lot of girls out there that can definitely relate, you know? And if y'all are in a relationship like that, y'all need to get the fuck up out of it, okay? It, it's not healthy. Like it could really drag a person to the edge for real. Love will really kill you. No lie, love will really kill you. So my reaction to this is, um, she been through hell obviously, but in the end it hurt it, but she began to love herself she began to realize her worth and you know actually brought her closer to her family and her friends as she stated in the video because she said that you know she distanced herself from her family and her friends and that's what made her begin to feel alone and stuff so you know she um basically reunited with them so family and friends when when it's a tough situation you you know trying to get through Family and the friends always coming through. Like they gonna always come through. They all gonna always support. So um, I'm definitely happy that she left that toxic situation. I hope she does not go back to it because it's not healthy and it will not change. Like it will not change. I actually watch. I actually watch this um, Brie um, some of her YouTube videos and I always see them. You know, going back and forth. You know, together, broken up, together, broken up. But sometimes we get to the point we get old and we're like, we're just tired of getting treated a certain way. We're tired of the on and off. We just want to be happy. You know. So it gets like that. But um, y'all spend the comments how y'all feel about it. If y'all had, you know, had a situation like that, what did y'all do? And we're going to chat up in the comments, y'all. So with that being said, I love you guys. And I will see you on the next video, which will be another reaction. All right? It's going to be another reaction. So stay tuned. <laughs>